All right, welcome everybody to the stream. At the beginning of the stream, I'd like to go ahead and give a little bit of introduction. So without further ado, this is a Catholic gaming stream. That means there'll be prayer or discussions about theology, saints, or various Catholic readings, and discussions about going on in the church. There will be discussions about the games played fit theologically wise or with church teachings we play them. This is a stream for everyone, but yes, respect for everyone here. If you have a question about the church, please feel free to ask. I'm only a lay person, however, so I may find the answer by asking my priest during research or calling Catholic Answers Live, as such it may take time. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to post it if you can further streaming channels run by Catholics, and you are in luck. Once again, we're trying out a new camera angle, by the way. I think this one's actually pretty nice. Um, I need to replace a bulb, but I wouldn't say this is too bad. And that's, it's, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Pr pretty good. Pretty good. No, yeah, pretty good. I'm getting distracted. Yes, I am. So let's get undistracted. So anyways. There is Interceptors, My Dog Productions, The Punching, Fortitude, Beer Blevins, Matt317, Mr. Bushido, All Your Hitler and Papa, Father Samuel Beardsley, Catholic Answers Live, This Catholic, Blue Soda, True Great Catholic, Kim Nader, Savage99, That Catholic Gamer Dude, Yoga Archangel, The Joyful Mind, P. Tony, P. Tony, but again, and Yugen. Thank you very much. God bless. Remember that God loves each and every one of you. Go and sin no more. Now, let's go ahead. Before we do actually jump into the here, let's do the daily readings for today. And that's muted. Okay, that's good. I'm trying to see if I could check one thing real quickly. I don't know if I can or not. I was curious about something. Not easily. I will have to do that. Oh, I need a... Man, this is a very old list. I need to clean this up a bit, I can tell you that much. So, yeah, some stuff needs cleaned up. I'll work on that later. Now is not the time for that. Excuse me, by the way, I apologize. Getting this out for later. I need to update this list still, but uh, I'm totally getting distracted, aren't I? Let's get undistracted then. Yeah, sorry. Let's have the daily readings and we'll start. I apologize, everyone. Anyways, these are the readings for August 30th, 2022. Tuesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. The first reading for today is from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10b through 16. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is with him? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God, so we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but with words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God, for to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him, but we have the mind of Christ. <laughs> the Psalm for today is Psalm 145. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Make you known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and rises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The Gospel for today is from Luke chapter 4, verse 31 through 37. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching. So he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They're all amazed and said to one another, 
What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, was that? Oh, did I accidentally turn the Elgato on during that entire time? I sure did. That sounds like me. Well, that wasn't on purpose, so, you know. I don't like that I did that, but I just shouldn't beat myself up because mistakes do, in fact, happen. Obviously, I like the music for Xenogear. Actually, the music for this town probably worked pretty well for that, but obviously I like to give God the proper respect. But if you don't do something by mistake, that's different. There is a whole intent behind things. Uh, we already shopped in here, so I don't think we need anything else from here. This is going to be a pain. All right, okay. Goodbye. Now I just want a save point real quick. Or not rest point. So you're gonna make your move, Apeth eh, Omnio? But somehow I don't think that man's just gonna stand by and let you do as you please though. I think we already talked to you. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, you're rashed. Oh, is that a woman or a man actually? Hard to tell sometimes. Older person. Huh. So it has finally begun. My late father always said, don't miss the greater happiness by being misled by minor sufferings. Curse me to see our children placed in danger, but if it moves our country in the right direction, then it's their in their benefit. I mean, probably most of the time that's true. I don't know about all the time. Where? How's Bledovic? It's under martial law, so it's gotten progressively harder to contact our agents in the city. According to the info we finally got just a while ago, there's no major activity. We think they've found some reason to attack and are getting ready now. The possibility exists. We've heard that Shikan's power base in the capital is eroding away. He pr he's probably weaker than we thought. Anyway, it's happened and we're committed now. I feel the same way. Now that I think about it 12 years ago, ever since the coup d'etat by Shikan, there's been a lot of tension in our country. With Margaret back now, I agree that the former dynasty should be returned to power. Everyone feels the same, but we must look at reality. We have the strength to do that now. Now I hear Bartholomew, the one who brought back Margaret, has started moving around out in the open. Soon Shikan is preparing a large army. Shikan may be coming here soon. Ellipses. What's going to happen to us if he captures this area? Will everyone be killed? I seriously doubt that. Even he won't want to risk provoking any kind of outrage with the citizens. Especially in this situation, he will definitely want to avoid putting himself in a compromising situation. We should set up a hiding place just in case. Hey, Brute! I am finding time away from my least favorite game, Fortnite, to play games I actually really enjoy. How you doing, Brute? I actually really like Xenogears, so I'm not going to get as much time today, unfortunately. Because um, I know that Joyful is going to go live here at about 3 o'clock my time, so that's about an hour. And I had to do some house stuff first, so I'm going to be joining him at that time. Interceptor, how are you? How's life? Please don't either of you talk about this in front of Margie. She only just got back from her long time in captivity. I don't want her to have to worry. I want her to be happy for a little longer. You should not be overly worried yourself. You have just got to think about what is best for the future of this land. What is done is done. You only did what you believed was right. Put the past behind you. Huh. I'm alright. Good! I think I've told you this in voice, but congratulations. I guess I told you on Sunday, but congratulations again. I like... Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fair. I understand that work grind all too well. I believe that this is later. We'll be back for you later. Oh, that's not an arrow. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Sorry, I need to drink a little bit of Gatorade. I, uh, I'm planning to go for a second bike ride with my wife later, so... Gotta get those electrolytes back at least a little bit. I've done 20 miles today. I'm planning to do another 20, so... I'm from the Royal Army Station down south. I may work for the current government, but my heart belongs to Nissan. I can't desert it. I hear there are a lot of people like me who are gathering here. The presence here kindly renting me this room. Now I'm waiting here until something starts happening. Can I rest in your room for like a brief minute? <sighs> I just want to rest. I want to rest. Studio. Uh, I mean, I guess I could rest in a studio. Why not? <laughs> like a studio apartment? No, not that type of studio. <laughs> ah, pardon me. Seem to have some phlegm at the moment, I apologize. Sorry, but please don't talk to me now. Yesterday morning's view from the lake. I'm remembering the sensation of that light. Maybe you should start painting instead of remembering. Actually, Nissan is a pretty popular place among artists. Part of the reason is the scenery, but it's mostly because of the portrait of the Great Mother that is said to be in the cathedral. Unfortunately, the public is not permitted to go see it. It's been a pretty nice day. It seems like the weather is finally starting to cool down. I'm happy about that. Overall, life's been pretty good. Um, Bert, Mark, what? What? Oh, I was looking the wrong way. Okay. These are the people who took care of me when, when, okay, I missed the eye. I thought it said when was small. Nope, it was when I was small. Just blended in there for a second, that's all. So glad you're safe. Oh, Bart, I'm glad you're well. The people at the Hidden Port contacted us just before you came into town. I've already contacted the monastery. Please take Margie up there as soon as possible. She'll be so happy. Not to mention the sisters. I must hurry and see the sisters. I guess we'll go there first. So I know that nothing really serious happens in this town for right now, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, as I say, still messing around with the new camera arm that Yugen sent me, which I appreciate. Just getting used to it. So I think that I like this one. I just need, I want a little more light or maybe less light. I don't know. I don't know if I need more light or less light because obviously it's reflecting off... You know, I could just put my hat on, like I want to, like I should have my hat on. So I like my hat. You like my hat? I do not like your hat. Goodbye. Goodbye. Margie. Oh, homie. Sorry. <laughs> Ruining it completely. Margie. <laughs> I'm back, everyone. Oh, Margie. We're so glad you're safe. Yes, it is all thanks to Bart and his men. We just received word. So we were singing a hymn of praise and joy. We're so happy. Oh, what a relief. Welcome back, Margie. We had faith that you and your cousin Bart would one day return safely. We and your other friends have been waiting for you. Sister Agnes. Unfortunately, your mother and the Blessed Royal Mother... I know, Sister Agnes. I heard about it at the Royal Capital. At least I have made it back. I'll never go anywhere or leave you from now on. Uh, I know that that's a lie. <laughs> you definitely do leave later. I won't make you all worry anymore. Ever again. Hey, Wilpog, how are you? <clears throat> Bless you, my dear. Sister Agnes, this just isn't like you at all. Here I am back safe and sound. Can't you rebuke me just a little for old time's sake? Ha! Huh, I'm sorry. I'm just so happy that I cannot help but... Sister. There is no reason to be so solemnly quiet. I guess I should wave this way. I'm still getting used to the new positioning, so it's like I wave right here. It does technically work, but technically, yeah. Well, everyone. 
To celebrate the return of our dear sister Margie and to express our joy to heaven, let us finish singing our hymn. <clears throat> Thank you, and bless you all. Oh yes, sister. May I go upstairs? It's been oh so long, so I want to have a look around up there too. Oh, but of course, dear. Don't even think of holding back from anything. Except for one thing. Never stay away so long like that again. Ha ha, I knew you'd say that. Now that's the Agnes I know. Margie, I'm so glad. That's cute. I like that. <clears throat> it's been a while since the last time I was here. Something wrong, Margie? Nothing. It's just... <clears throat> I guess I got a little emotional. <laughs> Anyhow, take it easy for a while. You put up with enough, okay? If you were trying to make me cry, you'll fail. Oh, yes. I'll show Faye and Saitan around our cathedral. Follow me. I gotta make sure there's no loot first, Margie, and then I will come follow you. What a strong girl she is. It's obvious that she really wants to just break down and cry. Yeah, you're right. That's just the way she's always been. For all her talk, she understands her position well. Maybe there are a few things I could learn from her, too. I might be misremembering, actually. There might not be anything uh, until... Uh, I can't remember what that thing... Is that Hava? Where, where you get Billy. Billy, 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 Billy. Sorry. Whenever I hear Billy, I can't think of anything but Billy and his time belt from Mega64. We go up to the gallery on the second floor from here. I don't know why that's what I think of immediately, but that is what I immediately think of. No, I really don't think that they were trying to be offensive with this game due to later stuff, but I can understand why somebody would think that. But it seems like this and other things where it's like, it's definitely seems like they're trying to show that they weren't trying to be offensive, but I don't know. That's just to me. I definitely don't think that was the intent. It's Japan. They kind of do this. How magnificent. We ever got scolded for princess kids. Gordon and I used to hide here. Hey, stop telling those old stories. It's embarrassing. But to me, Bart hasn't changed much since then. What? You mean that you think I'm still a kid? Well, you still got a Chuck E. Cheese, Bart. Where a kid can be a kid. That was dumb. I could actually totally see Bart going to Chuck E. Cheese, though. I, I like the view from here the best. <laughs> Yes, this is breathtaking. <clears throat> Light from outside shining through the stained glass of the cathedral's front. What a brilliant piece of artistry this is. Did you notice that the two great angels only have one wing each? According to legend handed down in Nissan, God could have created humans perfectly. I mean, in real life, God did create humans perfectly. It's just that then we went ahead and uh, messed it up by original sin. God gave us the freedom of choice, too. So we were perfect. We just kind of messed that up because we're not very smart. But then humans would not have helped each other. 
So that's what these great single winged angel symbolizes. Once again, not based off real God, so I understand that. In order to fly, they're dependent on one another. We do miss a lot of things up, Will, honestly. It's all too easy to do. Ah, so there's the reason for it. I see. On further inspection, the left angel looks somewhat masculine. Well, there I... Well, the right one looks somewhat feminine. Now, that is an unusual feature, is it not? Usually, these depictions are not gender-specific. But these angels are clearly distinguishable as having opposing genders. And the space between them is the path from where God advents. Or could it be the path leading to God? Well, I do not know. It could be either, or even both. Now I see. This all coincides with the teachings of Nissan. Ha ha ha! Why, Dr. Yuz Saitan Yuzuki? You are an amusing fellow. Oh, excuse me. It's a habit of mine. The doc knows a lot about a lot of things. Sometimes I can't even understand what he's talking about. Ha! Person will fly together. It would be less bothersome if they could fly on their own. Don't you think, Faye? Bart, you missed the deeper meaning and beauty of it. As I say, you kind of missed the entire point there, Bart, didn't you? Someday, I wish I could be of help to someone like that. Oh, we haven't visited the room of Sophia yet, have we? You're really supposed to go through some procedures before you can see it. But this time I think it will be alright if I make a special exception. Sophia? Yes, Sophia. She was revered as the founding mother of the Nissan nation. And the founder of the Nissan religion who set forth its teachings. There is a special room upstairs that has a portrait of Mother Sophia in it. I would definitely like to view that. Faye, let's go have a look at it. The sisters are still singing downstairs, so they won't be back for a while. I, I'm gonna be honest, I was kinda hoping to find some food. Let's go to the painting room. The sisters will probably be back by then. Cause I'd like to get my full health back. I think I'll have Saitian in the party, along with Faye for the final team. And I think I do know who I want my third to be. Um, what's her face? Robot girl. I can't remember her name at the moment. It's farther on in. But I want to do a different team than I did last time, even though Billy and Rico I did really happen to enjoy a lot. Oh my, what an exquisite portrait. And the beautiful young lady portrayed is quite beyond comparison, too. What is more? This looks rather familiar. What do you think, Faye? Yes, I was just thinking the same thing. The hair's a different color, but the atmosphere or personality about her is exactly the same. What? Hair color? What do you mean? What do I mean? Look! It's the girl I met in the forest. It's Ellie! I mean, there's something about her that's just like Ellie. You don't think so? 
Yes, now that you mention it, she does resemble Ellie. But that's not what I was talking about. I meant that the brush techniques and overall style used in this picture is similar to yours. Really? That definitely does look similar to Ellie, though. I mean, I know that's meant to be, and I'm not going to tell why, but there's there's plot reasons. Does it? First of all, I'm nowhere near as good an artist. No, it is very similar to your style. But somehow I can sense an atmosphere of sadness in this picture. She's smiling, but in a way, gives the impression that she is anxious. Perhaps the picture is reflecting her inner self? Or perhaps it is the inner feelings of the artist being conveyed. Ah. Look closely, you will notice that the painting is not completely finished. The artist put his brushes down when it was near completion. Why is that? I don't know. But my grandmother might have known about it. Oh, what if we ask Agnes? She may know something. That That's a good idea. That's a good question. Because these appear to be energy resources, would Mega Man. I don't know why I'm thinking of Mega Man 8 now. Alright then, I'll be with Sister Agnes. Well, shall we head back to the town for now? Yes, alright. But this painting has caught my curiosity. You mind if I speak to Sister Agnes before we head back to town? Yeah, okay. We'll stop by her room on the way out. Lacan. Is something wrong, Faye? You look like you're daydreaming. Huh? No, it's nothing. Oh gosh, I got a lot louder. I mean, it's not like it's loud. It's not even in the yellow on the Elgato, so I think we're fine, but it's just, you know, it, the previous one was quiet, soft. This is still pretty quiet and soft, but the point being, it's like, you know, it sounds louder, I guess. Well, she's standing. I was, thought she was kneeling for a second. I was like, oh, they did some new uh, sprite work. Or different sprite work, I guess, because it's... Almost 25 year old game, can't really be new. I wonder what kind of person Sophia was, unless they. Never mind. I would have loved to have met her. I understand you were shown Sophia's portrait. The lady portrayed in the picture is Nissan's great founding mother. Some say that it was painted at least 500 years ago. 500 years ago? Now that is quite amazing. Personally, I find it intriguing. Do you have any historical material for the period? Pardon me, I apologize. In her hands, there are no such records left intact. All records and materials concerning Sophia have been lost. The portrait is the only thing left. We, too, do not have much knowledge about her. That is too bad. So there really is nothing left at all? For someone who has helped Margaret, I would have loved to have shared them. But unfortunately, I am unable to help here. Oh well, none the matter. Please do not worry about it. I was just inquiring. But it does seem somewhat strange. Such a majestic building as this survived history, then it's likely a squirrel or two would remain too. According to tradition, Sophia was present about 500 years ago. She sacrificed herself for the people and has been summoned to be with God. That's all I can tell you. I see. So everything was lost in the darkness of history. The one picture in the portrait in the painting room, okay.
I do really like the soundtrack for Xenogears. Matter of fact, the guy next to me and I were born here. Years ago, we both got tired of the peaceful but boring life here, so we ran away from home. We both ended up enlisting the army. It's not that we have any particular happy memories or whatever here. It's just that after all, this is the land of our birth, so well, you know. Okay, wasn't sure if I could see anything. Preparation should be starting near the border of the sex country for the charge by the Royal Capital's army. A miscalculated move directed on the enemy is certain to backfire on us, so we'll be taking covert action for a while. My way there now, but I thought I'd offer a prayer before I go. I want to see with my own eyes what will become of this country. <sighs> I wish I could both stream and take a nap at the same time. Not because I'm bored, but because I'm tired. Sleepy one could say. Oh, we got our stuff back. Okay. And we get our EP back. I think we'll keep going on, though. I was gonna go grind, but I don't think we really need to. Oh, I think I was gonna grind for money now that I think about it. Maybe I should go do a little bit of grinding then. Ah! Young Master! The people of Nissan were most generous to allow us to rent this house. So there will be no need to seek lodgings at the inn for a while. Also, Master Sigurd wishes a word with you regarding your next move, if he may. Alright, so where is Sig? The good Master Sigurd is waiting for you inside. Okay, thanks, Mason. Too late at the moment, though. <sighs> Gotta get some money. I'd like to get some ether doublers. If at all possible. I don't know if there's anything good around here that gives, uh... Good experience for grinding or not, but we'll find out, I guess. Or not experience, but money. Or drops good items. Oh, we fought these guys before. Last time we fought them was in Gears, so they actually will be a little bit more challenging at the moment. Not like crazy, because we'll be able to uh, get them down here pretty quickly. really had anything good money-wise though, but if you do, then we'll continue to fight you.
Not bad money, not great. We'll go see if we can find anything better. Well, honestly, we'll probably mainly just do a quick look and continue on, because that's early game enemies, that's for sure. If that's what we mainly find out here, except for in that little desert area, then uh, I think we're good for the looking, and we'll just have to deal with the fact that we get either doubler later. Well, as is, though, I'm not even sure we need either doubler. Not for the party that I'm planning on. Well, that looks more promising, really. safe at the very least. Stop dodging. Well, can't dodge if you're dead, so that'll work. No money. Okay, not worth it. Let's continue on. So it's mainly here for either double or grinding, not for experience, so... Well, the other one would have been nice. Not, not what I'm looking for at the end of the day. And they might drop something good. That's possible. But I need something consistent. Hmm. Whenever I come here, it always calms my heart. <laughs> anyway, young master, I want to work out what our plans are from here on. From here on, are all right. But before we do that, there's something I want to ask you. Oh, pardon me. Me? Yeah. Sig, what's up with you and that Gebler officer? What's the connection between you and him? You know, you should know a lot about Gebler for some reason.
All right. I'll tell you. Me and Saitian here. We used to live in Solaris. Solaris. You mean where Gabler's from? That's right. Solaris calls foreigners lambs. It uses manual labor. Basically in slavery. Slavery? Is that where you met him? Yes, it was there. We worked for the Solaris government for a short while. But we learned to dislike their methods and escape the first chance we had. You were friends with these people? I met you when I was a kid, and we've been together ever since then. So this would have had to have happened even before then. I probably wouldn't have understood this if I had heard it earlier, but... Why don't you think I could deal with it now? Surely you could have told me about this. Especially when you had something to do with the people who are backing that Shikan idiot. I wish you told me sooner. There's nothing I can do about that now. But there's one thing I want you to believe. We left Solaris on our own will and for our own reasons. Now they've appeared before us. We can't just sit back and do nothing. If need be, I will give my life to stop them. Alright, I understand. But can you elaborate a little more? Where is Solaris? What bugs me is this? Surface Dwellers thing. It says this Solaris is in another location, like up in the clouds or something? Yes, well... Eternanak, the capital of the Solaris Empire, is located in the skies above. Solaris is separated from land by dimensional distortion fields known as gates. Passing between the two requires special means of transportation, such as an airship. To get to Ava, we stowed away on a regular flight to the surface. I came much later than Sigurd did, but I also escaped in the same way. What are lambs? That's the word Solarians use to indicate those who live on the Earth. As I said before, such sur surface dwellers or Earth dwellers are used for manual labor there. Manual labor could be anything from soldiers to administrative jobs. Solaris gathers its work workforce from the land dwellers. Jobs are divided up by who is most suitable. Sometimes people are brainwashed. Brainwashed? I... When you, young master, were still an infant, I was used as a test subject. There was probably something they valued inside of me. You too, Doc? No. I was born in lower city levels. It is not a complete secret. But I guess I am a Solarian. You see, you still need people to run a country. No matter how scientifically advanced you are, you have no support without people. Pure Solarians are rare. They would not even make up a quarter of Ava's total population. So they support their country by stealing surface dwellers. His name is Carr. Carr and Ramses. As you know, he's the Gebler commander. Ramses? We call him Carr. In Solaris, there's an officer training school called Jugend. He became the commander after leaving there. He is a lower level citizen, the same as me. However, with his amazing abilities, after graduating, he rose to the ranks with unparalleled speed. That man had one idea to achieve a consolidation of all his colleagues. Even land dwellers, if they had talent, were brought into the army. So you two were picked by Ramses? No, we were not picked by him. We had lied ourselves with him. At that time, we agreed with him. But at that time, Ramses was our hope. He had high ideals and wanted to change the system in Solaris. 
To us subjects, test subjects and low level citizens, he was truly all that we wished for. A benefactor. Yes. Even I, a test subject, was changed by his ideals. Why did you leave? So, why was it that you wanted to flee from Solaris? We were replacing key military positions by Ramses. And thanks to that, we came to know the relationship between Solaris and the surface dwellers. The lambs, right? They weren't just using us lambs for slave labor. That is true, and we'll find out how later. They also selected some of us, like me, to be used as subjects in experiments to refine their drugs and other things. Drugs that change people's personalities to make them more aggressive and to draw out their latent abilities. They were using us as human guinea pigs to test their psychological alteration drugs. Human guinea pigs? Experimenting on humans? Yes, for example. Drive. That drug and all others like it that are used now are byproducts of human exper experimentation. However, the role of such experimental subjects was not limited to just that. This drive drug is something that anyone in the Solaris Army can use. At least anyone in the Gebler forces who was sent to the surface. You're worried about her, huh? I saw some in her room. No. Anyway, using slaves as guinea pigs. How low are these guys? Dang. Damn. I may as well do the actual wordage. Hmm. I think I get most of it. Old Mason. Go reserve the town hall for us. We'll finish talking there. I'm going outside to get some air. I should have been honest with him sooner. It is best not to worry about it. You did all you could at the time. The young will understand. Yeah, I think I'll forgive you. I am sure the young master would never have dreamed of such a tale. I guess you already knew? Well, now that you ask. Yes, I did. However, when Sigurd was telling the story, I thought it was best to stay quiet. Please try and help the young master come to terms with all that he has just heard. Okay. Wasn't sure if he said anything else. I don't want to know how Mason found out. Do we ever find out how Mason knew before this? I'll look up Mason real quickly. Yep. Nope, don't need to leave. I remember correctly, it took me a little bit of time to find Bart last time as well. Of course, he could just be right here, and I'm just blind. I had no idea Sig had such a past. Are you still suspicious of Sigurd? Well, I mean, it was just so sudden. I kind of expected to hear something different, like that we were childhood rivals or something. That's nothing compared to the story he just told us, is it? Hmm, so in here's story is not confused you because it was as you confused because it was not so simple. There was a time when he was cooperating with one of Gabler's generals. Furthermore, behind Gebler was a country that you had never even heard of. Hey, what are you picking on me for? No, I'm not picking on you or blaming anything on you. What I'm saying is this. 
If you think about it, how he feels, then you should see why he could not talk about this with you till now. Looking at the activities of Solaris toward other countries up until now, it has never gone beyond simply maintaining their own empire self-preservation. As you have seen, their military power is immense, so Sigurd was probably thinking ahead. First, he was probably concentrating on taking care of the problems here on the continent of Ignis. Once things were settled here, it would give him a stronger foundation to deal with Solaris later. Which is a much better plan than rushing straight into a war he knew he could not win. Quite logical, really. <sighs> I like you understand one another pretty well. Well, it's not like we are newly acquainted, is it? And we had talked about a lot of things up until we decided to escape from Solaris. Speaking of that, why did you leave? That Ramses guy was supposed to be a star of hope or something, wasn't he? Supposed to be. Yes, I certainly thought so at first. Then I realized his way of thinking really was not that much of a change from the previous system. Basically, the only difference was whether they stressed people's rank and class or their skill. The words had changed, but it was still no different from what Solaris itself had been doing until then. He had no intentions of bringing everyone a better way of life. Just those that were more skilled. In other words, he's an elitist. Don't think I like him much either. So, Saitan, do you think I can beat Gebler? Why? Are you planning on fighting them? As long as they're working with Shakan, there's no way around it. The way things are going, I'm sure we'll have to fight them sooner or later. Hmm, I suppose so, but you may be worried to defeat the Gebler forces here. There's still Solaris to deal with. If we're not careful, it's possible that we may get involved in a longer war than that with Shakan. Do you not agree that continuing the way we've been going is rather hard on everyone? I think it's time we try to get help from a greater number of people. So defeating Shakan's not going to get rid of the likes of Gebler. I know what you're trying to say. The Vinkish Gebler first gained thy throne, right? Hmm, you could put it that way. What do you mean, you could put it that way? But again, maybe this time I did something about that. Town Hall. It was... Not that one, I think it's over here then. went to the tool shop to borrow a table. The owner said, if we need anything for the young master, just ask for it. I'm grateful. When I was a kid, I borrowed stuff from there and got in big trouble. Borrowed? What did you take? A toy boat. Toy boat, toy boy, toy boat, 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 Is it like five times? Can't remember. I think that's what it was. But I have to try to go faster because Toy Boat actually does get kind of hard to say if you try to say it fast. I put fireworks in it and let it float on the Cathedral's Lake. I was used to play Navy. I'm not sure, but I think I pretended the lake was the open sea. That was the fleet commander. Anyway, forget those old stories. We should get started. First, Gibbler is the big problem. Yes, Ramses is headed toward achieving his goals. That he is now the commander of Gibbler is proof of that. A normal man could not progress so quickly through that country's organization. Now he is so presently located here. Now he is presently located here in Ignis. Frankly, the situation is not very favorable. We need to somehow find a weak spot and attack it with all our might. First, let's just concentrate on Shikan. 
Once he's out of the way, and Alva's safe again, we can think about how to deal with Gabler. Oh, Snowsets, with our present strength, we should be able to hold off the Royal Guard forces. Pardon me. Once we get to the Divine Mercy Chapel and switch to Final Fantasy XIV, before I start playing with Joyful, I'm going to grab my thing of G Fuel because I haven't had it yet today. I'm tired, even though I got like seven, maybe eight hours of sleep, but it's like, I keep yawning. People don't want to hear me yawn. I assume people don't want to hear me yawn might be the better way to put it, so I'm going to get my G Fuel, but not, not yet, obviously. Problem is how to deal with Gebler in the meantime. They will most likely move at Shakan's request. They're not just going to sit by and watch quietly. May I have a look there, please? In short, we want Gebler to leave for a while. At least until we are able to take back the royal capital, Blitabek. These are the Gebler units, currently in Ava, correct? The Western Guards. The Royal Capital Defense Force. Hey, Paws, how are you doing? And units along the front line at the border with Kislev. Oh, shoot, I forgot to look up that flavor for you, Paws. I'll do that when I go upstairs and get my G Fuel. I know exactly where my uh, Drinking with the Saints book is, and I know a flavor that would work for St. Michael. I'm just... I completely forgot about it till now. I meant to do that late, earlier today. I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little tired, but not bad. I think I'm just tired because I'm tired. Not because I didn't get enough sleep or anything like that. Just kind of how it, you know, kind of how it goes. There are three main groups. Each is made up of a mix of Gebler and Ava forces. Only two of these are very large. So I know that Joyful is probably going to start doing 14 here in about half an hour, and then I'll swap over there and I'll grab my G Fuel at the same time. The Royal Capital's defense units and the Kislev border units. The Western Guard along Nissan's border are a little more than a surveillance team. Yeah, I was gonna say it gives you different uh, it gives you different mixed drinks based on various feast, feast days. It, I need to actually look more into it. Um, I want to make more of the drinks, but as you could probably expect, it's uh, it gets a little expensive trying to make. I don't remember how many Saint. I, I would guess there's a hundred drinks in there, so you know. Over the course of a year, it's kind of expensive. I really should look into making some more of them, though. But I've already bought some fire whiskey, and I sh probably shouldn't buy any more alcohol for a little bit. Maybe in September I'll look into it more. In order to recapture the Royal Capital, it will be necessary to draw these defense units away from Bledovic. Yeah, I want to say it's when St. Michael casts... Satan out of heaven that Satan fell on a kind of bush and that's what's associated with St. Michael I'll have to find it we have some Kislev mid gears correct yeah we captured some earlier what if we use those gears to make a raid on the Western Guards here at the border with Nissan I see. We'll draw them out by making it look like Kislev is invading Ava. But the problem is, will attacking the border guards be enough to set the center in motion? Be sure then, Nissan will just have to appear to align with Kislev. If they set it that way, they will certainly make a move. You're saying that you intend to use Nissan as bait. Doc! Shikan is very sensitive to Nissan's and Kislev's actions. Nissan starts moving, he'll probably leave it up to Gebler, but... Of course, I do not wish to do that from the beginning. But looking at the situation, we have to be willing to go that far. Hmm... Might be blackberries. I'll have to look into it. First, we infiltrate into the capital. To take out Shakan, we'll have to meet up with our agents already in the city. Da, 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 city. You're forgetting one thing. The front line units along Kislev's border. The main strength of Ava's fleet is the battleship Kaifenzel. It's been in service since the reign of the last king. 
Because of its firepower, the whole unit is nicknamed the Invincible Fleet. I recall yesterday's intelligence report said that the ship is near the border. Dang. That puts everything in jeopardy. I lost on jeopardy. Do not feel so down, baby. I simply want you to see the current distribution of force in the area. Ooh. Even the worst case, that they do come, it will not be such a great problem. What do you mean? I have some additional information about Ava's border fleet. The former Ava Supreme Commander was transferred there. Not really transferred, more like demoted. His nickname is Vanderkum. He likes gun. Vanderkum. You don't mean the Vanderkum that was in Jugend? The very same. Young one, he has not been able to adapt to the change in tactics. Particularly fond of the introduction of gears. He's a man who will never stray from his dependence on large naval guns. I can respect that, honestly. You mean he's stubborn? He's all size and no real military power. An excellent target for pirates. Young master! This is not going to be an act of piracy. Just kidding. Actually, the number of gears assigned to the fleet seems to have been reduced. Even with that, how gallant of him to be so self-righteous. See that much of a missile head? It'll be fun taunting him. Young master! I know, I know. Anyway, Saitian, do you think he can strike our gear forces? It's not a problem. Even with Vandercombe, we have enough forces left to pull off the feint. However, it would not be wise to underestimate our opponents. <clears throat> well now, that we know what we are up against, here's what we'll do. Apart from our main unit, heading for Bledovic, we must keep the fleet of the Kislev border from returning to the capital. You're suggesting we have another unit. A few effective soldiers to hold the enemy at bay. A small force is best. Small force? What if Faye leads a group of gears there? Me? Me? I guessed it before it happened. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Hold on now. There's no reason to involve you all in this. I'll do it. Yes, let me do it. When do we leave? Are you sure? We've come this far. Hey, we're friends at the end now. Friendship forever. Friendship together. Norm Brett, less of that song. Speed is everything. We should do this as soon as possible. Alright, tomorrow. So much more. I can remember some of it. I'm truly grateful, Faye. Saitan. Yeah! I'll grab my stuff! I can't wait to bomb the dongos! There's no way we can lose. No one will die in vain. Well put, well put, young master. I don't actually think anybody does die from this. Um... Maybe some soldiers, but they don't count. They totally count. I'm just saying, from an RPG perspective, they typically... Um, maybe the one exception I can think of that does focus on the smaller guys is... Um, shoot, what's that Sega game? That just got another entry on Switch. I can find it, hold on. Because, uh... I know that Aka was in... It, quote unquote, kind of. I can't remember what it was called now. It was a bang bang game. Um, shoot, it came out on. I don't remember. I'll look later. Good morning. What's what's the long face? Not feeling well. Or are you feeling sad about saying goodbye? Or maybe you're just nervous. Shut up, stupid. Don't bug me. That's not very nice. Hee <laughs> hee.
Well, it's almost time. Yeah, yeah. Is everyone ready to go? I'll be waiting here, so let me know when you are through preparing. Uh, I'm gonna go with we're ready. Are you ready? All right. I mean, we already grabbed everything, so we should be good. The only thing we couldn't really get was the either doubler. That was just gonna be too much money, and I get. I decided no. We'll we'll get that later. Our comrades in Nissan will hit the Western Guard and kiss love uniforms as planned. We'll wait for the right moment, then head for the palace in the Yggdrasil. Got it. But avoid any unnecessary deaths. This especially goes for the Abbot troops, and also the people from Gebler. Yes, we understand. I guess I'm going to raise some hell in my well tall then. We're counting on you. Next time we meet, I won't be able to call you Bart, or Young Master. Maybe, Your Majesty? Head out. Bart's fine. Great mother of Nissan. Hey! You know I hate that title. Ha 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 ha! Well, we're out of here. Okay, good luck! Margaret and Bartholomew. Seeing you two brings my hopes up. Long ago, before the Fatimas of Ever were called Fatima, the royal brothers and their wives oversaw many prosperous reigns of eras. Looking forward to the day when, as the great mother of the Nissan sect, you will take your place on the throne as Bartholomew's wife. What? Hey, hold on. I hate talking about queens and romance. Father and I are best friends. Ha ha ha. Marriage is the best friendship. Well, Margaret, at the rate that you are maturing into a beautiful woman, I don't think Bart will be able to ignore you much longer. Stop it. You're embarrassing me. <sighs> Each squad of gears take off in order from here to avoid being picked up. We'll meet at the Rockies by the border tomorrow at 1200. Got it? Okay. Okay. The time has finally come. I'm pumped. Though the warship is outdated, you're only going in as a small unit. It's going to be a tough fight, but you could change Ava's future. I'm counting on you. Leave it up to us, young master. We'll drag Vendercombe's tail round and round. Right, son? Don't call me son, because you sure ain't my pops. Huh? Ha 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 ha. Well, young master, we promised to make something out of this battle. That's actually a pretty good response back. I gotta give it to Faye. Faye, it's odd for me to say this since I'm the one who got you involved. But be careful, okay? You too. If anything happens to me, take care of Margie and them for me. Don't jinx yourself. It's not like you... But I'll take care of them. Don't worry. It's been a while since we've seen one of these cutscenes. Don't get these are the um, anime cutscenes very frequently. It is always nice to see them, though. Like. Even for PS1 standards, these look really good. I mean, it's square, so it makes sense, but still. So, hey, square used to be known for some really good cutscenes, honestly. That was a bunch of blizzard, mind you, but still. Ooh, pardon me. Oh, aren't you going to rest up? <clears throat> oh, aren't you going to rest up a little? A 
long last, we are heading to Blood Effect tomorrow. Who is the prince? Our young master doesn't know the royal capital very well. I always felt that was an awful pity, but despite that, I tried my best to raise him as crown prince. But looking back, I might have put too much of the burden of kingship on him too early in life. It might have been too much for a child with a future like his to handle. I must be the most terrible minder ever. My dear Lord Mason, I hardly think that is right. The young one would have taken the burden off of himself had he not wanted to bear it any longer. He is a fine man now, far capable of handling any such burdens or pressures, and I believe you are the very ones who have given him the strength to do so. Oh my good Dr. Yuzuki. I may be of service. Um, I don't think anything at the moment, but I'll check unless you, uh... Yeah. Like, I keep thinking about the speed rings, but I just don't have the money for it, so... I hope I can be of such service again. It's too noisy. Is it some kind of festival? Something like that. The mail just came because I heard the dog rush to the front door. I'll go check that after the Divine Mercy Chaplet. Oh, pardon me. We gotta find Bart or Sig. Probably somewhere close to Mason. My guess. Listen, this can't be that big of an area, so it's like they're either going to be here or they're going to be on the uh, gear dock, most likely, if they weren't up on the uh, deck. I don't know if it's a deck. Control home? They're not here, so I guess. Dougie. I guess there is technically another place that could be where ooh or me, not sure if they would be there. I'm good. Thank you, though. They're not down here, all right. Hmm. 
It is a bit interesting that they're not down here, to be honest. Not like the worst thing ever, but I definitely did think they would be. I think this is just the doctor's room, which not necessary, really. Oh, well, there is another place they could be. Unless, of course, no, it's letting us go out, so that's making me think it is now. Typically, it'll go ahead and say you can't do this because we're moving. Along those lines, not quite exactly, but, you know, the point gets across. Why such a glum face? Tomorrow's our first return to your castle in 12 years. Returning to the castle. After we get the royal palace back, I guess I'm going to be the king. I'm not very suited for it, am I? You'll get used to it. Listen, Sig. Yes? I guess it really doesn't matter who the king is, does it? As long as it's a symbol of hope, right? It doesn't have to be me. I was kidnapped by Solaris and brainwashed for use as a human guinea pig. But even they couldn't erase my desire to return home. They remembered you and Margaret, not as the royalty of our country, but as just normal children. I don't care about rebuilding a dynasty. I want to gain this kingdom because it belongs to you. Because it's your home. Because it's my home? Yes. For that, we must take Shikan down tomorrow, am I correct? Right, then let's do it. But first, I think you need to take a bath. A bath?! You don't look like a king at all! You're facing the enemy's leader, so you must have a noble appearance. Hey, you just said it didn't matter whether I'm a king or not. That is that. This is this. That someone was waiting for you. That one thought was all it took for you to regain yourself. You're a great man, Sigurd. Yeah, so, so you don't really want to mess with that character. <laughs> we'll find out about him later. At McGrath Chevrolet. Hand. Out of control, stop him. I don't care how, just stop him. Oh. 
Oh, where are we? This this can't be. Oh, he did it myself. Thank or he did it for me. Thanks, Ramses. I appreciate that. I know you're reliving a nightmare, and uh, thank you. I guess. <laughs> you guys need clothes. What's wrong? Look, you look like you have just had a nightmare. It wasn't the team in dream again, was it? No. It was nothing. Car. Peeping is not very becoming, you know. <laughs> I saw the boy that you are after fight in the tournament. I could tell right away. He resembles you greatly. Use the influence of the ministry to set you up with that man. I don't know what you're up to, but don't you dare think about plotting against me. You stay out of this. Well, I see the news has already reached you. As usual, you're the first to hear about everything. But don't worry. I won't steal your prized possession. I'll cooperate. Besides, you and I go back a long way. Oh? What's up? No. For a moment, I thought I caught some unnatural sounds. We're near the capital. It's probably just some kind of ship from there. But it's not from the surface. It's from under the sand. Under the sand? This is the only sand cruiser in all of Ava. We haven't heard anything about a new ship, even from the spies at Ava Naval HQ. Prince, can you try again and confirm what it is? I can't catch it again. It should have been a. It could have been a sand whale. Young master, I'm detecting an increase in the use of F band. That's the Royal Capital's Defense Force's frequency. There. On the surface layer. Detecting sounds of anchors being weighed in and engines being activated. The Royal Capital's Defense Fleet must be departing. We also intercepted a transmission from the patrol at the border with Kislev. We request immediate backup from the Royal Capital. Looks like we've really raised some hell at the border. Alright, we'll start. Ready the shuttle boats. When we land, hide the ship. Y young master! I have an awfully bad feeling about this. Do be very careful. It's all right, old Mason. All right, now I can use a save point because it's basically three o'clock. So I think Joyful should be ready here soon. What, the little girl's our commanding officer? She's said to be an elite from out of Jugend. She returned single-handedly from the Kislev infiltration operation. And empty-handedly, I hear. No souvenirs for the commander, huh? Yep, what a pretty face. She's not the soldier type. You there. Is that how you address a superior officer? Remember your rank. Oh, scary. We don't care much for rank. And we don't care much for rank, either. Just because you're beautiful doesn't mean you have to be cocky. Ha! This jerk's just jealous. What? I'm much prettier. How could I be jealous? Hey, shut that perv up. He gives me the creeps. I agree. And that's how it is. So don't get in our way, Miss Lieutenant. Anyway, let's just get this thing moving. Can't tell what it can do just by looking at it. What kind of machine is this? I've never seen it before. It's a new model gear called Virge. That's for officers use only. It said that people with normal mental power can't operate it. So she's still a Jugend regardless of having no ability? Ha! This looks like fun. Let's see what she can do. Head for the mountain peak. There's no time to waste. Deploy. That is a thing. 
exist. Check one quickly in here. Oh, okay. Not too interested, you feel. Not this time, at least. I would be interested in a tall shaker, but not that one, so. Thank you, though, I guess. Just not too interested in the Frankenstein Cup. Now, if they made a metal giant shaker, I'd be interested in that one, but it'd probably be expensive. Oh, that feels good. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, I'm kind of sorry that we had to destroy you. I think you do eventually explode on us, though, so we did have to get rid of him. Yeah, there's the enemies coming. Lost the ability to jump. So it's like, yep, I know it's here. I guess I don't technically know what's here, but I just knew an enemy was coming, and I was correct. These guys are a lot easier now that we uh, have b access to more upgraded gear parts, which is nice for us. Not nice for them, but uh, I don't hear them complaining. Yep, let's go side. Come on. I just want to get to a save point at this moment. <sighs> I guess I should jump into his stream to let him know that I'll be there in a moment. He's still getting set up. He's not quite ready yet, which is good in my... And this is good for me in this case. Just so I can have an extra second so as to... Uh, finish setting up. Or get to a save point, I guess, is the better way to put it, because we do need to get to that save point. And we'll probably do a little bit of grinding off stream. Yeah, I could probably do a little bit of grinding off stream, but you guys probably don't really want to see it. You know? But I do want to get a little bit of more. I do want to get a couple more codes while we're here. So if you want to give me some fuel, that would have been nice. Thankfully, it does seem like everybody here gives, uh, money at the very least. That's good. Blip, blip. Not entirely sure how I missed that, but I definitely did. That's alright. It happens. Goodbye, Mayfly. I guess one could say shoe fly, don't bother me. Ugh. 
Ooh, that's a pretty good level up there, Faye. Good job. One thing you didn't get is you have 8%, which isn't awful. That's fine. I uh, need agility, but agility never levels, almost never levels naturally. There might be like one or two instances where it can, but I don't think that's the case. Dang it. Again. I will say though, the, the jumping for this is a lot less frustrating than it is for Super Mario RPG. I have been enjoying Super Mario RPG, but I would be lying if I didn't say that the, uh, I thought that the um, jumping mechanics in that do need a little bit of refinement. Oh, I didn't realize that we were, uh, alright. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I, that time it wasn't me. It was in fact the fact that there was an enemy coming. At least these guys do give decent enough experience, like, obviously it's not as good as it once was because we've gotten levels higher, but it's not bad, and they are easier to, for us to kill now. Ooh! So we do actually need to hit once in order to make it so that... Interesting. It doesn't seem like that's the actual right way. Nope, these guys again. All right. So a heavy attack will take you about, how about a medium? Yep, all right. So for you guys, medium would be better, so it's to conserve fuel a little bit, but for the mayflies, gotta do a little bit more. Good, made it that time. Did get a new one. Didn't realize we got on our attack level two attack. That's nice, actually. It'll be expensive, but um, that will be actually very useful here soon. Old nugget. Okay. Pardon me. Remember, quick, the response is just kind of great for everything. Yeah. Yeah, then we'll just stay up here and grind. 
off stream. Seem to become a little lost in here. I saw some really strong looking gears flying around above here. By the way, I found these things during my travels. See anything you like? I can't trust you. Uh, that's not actually true. I can understand that. Already got that. Got that too. Magnetic code is what I'm looking to get a few of. It's one for now. That way we can do that. You will, because we're going to grind off stream here for next week. Hi, hey, Ninji. Oh, wrong one. That's on me. It does make it so that it goes down a little bit, but our response goes up crazily amount. Now we can do another one for now. Save and I'll switch over to Final Fantasy 14. Oh, hi, Ninji. And then we'll pray the Brian Mercy Chaplet. Hi. Hi. Yes, I see you, kitty. I didn't get quite as much time on this today, which is not anybody's fault but my own. I'm just always too busy, it seems. Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave that here for the time being. Leave that here. Uh, I'm going to go get my G Fuel, use the restroom, and then we'll get swapped over. Uh, and then we'll pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet before we get started, so... loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with Hey, Max is at least better than doing my taxes. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, He loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with Hey, Max is at least better than doing my taxes. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it,
He loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with Hey, Max is at least better than doing my taxes. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, He loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K. Max is at least better than doing my taxes. K. Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, He loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K. Max is at least better than doing my taxes. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it,
watch him spend all his dollar bills. Bills? Yeah, because, you know, he loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. Hey, Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K Max is at least better than doing my taxes. K Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K Max is at least better than doing my taxes. K Max is playing that sag game. He thinks it deserves all the fame, but I know someday you'll see the light. Super Mario World is the best of all time. K Max, he's got a mustache, and when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wily. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K Max is at least better than doing my taxes. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World and watch him spend all his dollar bills. Bills? Yeah, because you know, he loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. K Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that. K-Max is playing that Sega game. He thinks it deserves all the fame, but I know someday you'll see the light. Super Mario World is the best of all time. K-Max, he's got a mustache, and when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wily. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K-Max is at least better than doing my taxes. We like K-Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World and watch him spend all his dollar bills. Bills? Yeah, because you know, he loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. K Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it. K-Max is playing that Sega game. He thinks it deserves all the fame, but I know someday you'll see the light. Super Mario World is the best of all time. K-Max, he's got a mustache, and when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wily. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K-Max is at least better than doing my taxes. We like K-Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World and watch him spend all his dollar bills. Bills? Yeah, because you know, he loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. K Max, he's got a mustache. And when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wiley. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that. K-Max is playing that Sega game. He thinks it deserves all the fame, but I know someday you'll see the light. Super Mario World is the best of all time. K-Max, he's got a mustache, and when he's smiley, he looks like Dr. Wily. And I have to admit, though we don't talk about it, that hanging out with K-Max is at least better than doing my taxes. We like K-Max. 
take him to Disney World. We like K Max so much. We want to take him to Disney World and watch him spend all his dollar bills. Bills? Yeah, because you know, he loves giving his money to Disney. Ah. K Max, he's got a mustache, and when he's smiling. I'll get it there eventually. Okay, let's go ahead and swap over. I will. Pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, and I'll begin things set up in the background while we do that. So, apologize about that. Let's go ahead and get started. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found mercy for us to trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found mercy for us to trust in you. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found mercy for us to trust in you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed the fruit of thy own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Born of the Virgin Mary, suffering of Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he come, will come again to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and tell me for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. Eternal Father, 
I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, an atonement for our sins and those of the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion, have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. For the sake of a sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us in the world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One. Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us in the world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One. Holy Immortal One. Have mercy on us in the world. Holy God. Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us on the whole world. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, unfortunately, apparently, um, Fortnite had an update, so we got to wait for that. So we're going to unmute Joyful Stream while we wait for that.